Holy Spirit always was. <laughs> yeah, I get to do all sorts of extraordinary things I never have dreamt of, and I thought I'd just been an ordinary parish priest. I was a vicar in London and resigned in 1990 and went to the circus school. I've been doing it part time before then, but now I'm out custard pie ten bishops. <laughs> right, kick back, anything that happened. Holy Spirit coming your way. <laughs> my way of being a priest. It's a bit like the clown being the jester, the truth teller, the one who's allowed to speak the truth and get away with it. If you get it right, the truth is told and gloriously told. So I'm one of these and one of these, but I think all these are these and these are these, so it works both ways. Because it's a oh, oh, Stop heavy, just like the church. I think if a clown's going to preach the gospel, you must only do it as a clown would. So I use circus skills and old clown gags and all sorts of things, and of course humour. Humour is the best way of conveying truth of all, and I hope that people get the joke, which is what coming to faith is. I'm facing the wrong way. If I could only turn round, they call it repentance in the trade. Faith can be enjoyable, um, but there's lots of humour in the Bible, uh, but actually it's quite profound. Uh, and clowns, I don't think, clowns, people think of clowns as superficial. People think of Christianity as just being nice, but neither of those is true. So you enter into the mysteries of faith with this very mysterious character called the clown. I call this my slack rope of faith because it's narrow. It's wobbly, it's risky, but it's great fun.